Hi there darling hearts, it's Gaps Coach Emma here, timelesscookery.com if you want to find out more. I'm all about the food as the medicine. I help sick and tired people use the food as the medicine so they can mastermind their lives and survive and thrive these troubled times. I want to talk about school because there's a school's bill they're trying to put through at the moment that is aimed at uh, further restricting our choices because home education will not be an option and if you don't get your children to school you'll be fined and if you don't pay the fines you're going to jail. Hi Louise. Um, that's what they're saying in this bill, that's what they'd like to do. They'd like to take away the option for home education or choosing how you educate your children or really limiting and um, regulating how you home educate. So I was looking at school in the Etim Online Dictionary, which I highly recommend. Hi Rosie, I highly recommend you go and look up things on the Etim, on Etim Online, Etymological, Etymo, Etymological Dictionary, that's right. Anyway, so school, it says it's a noun, an institution for instruction, right? With a sense of people united by general similarity or principles and methods. We don't all want to be similar, do we? We don't want to all work under the same methods. We want surely to improve innovation and inspiration and curiosity and uh, but none of those things really happen at school. It uh, also says to train strictly, reprimand, discipline, reprove, right? I don't know if you've ever heard of this lovely guy called the People's Lawyer, David Adelman. He's got a great book called School, No Place for Children. Hi Paula. Yeah, and I, I kind of agree. Having seen my children go through the school system, right? Let's remember also that the second um, meaning of school is a large number of fish all swimming in the same direction in a school of fish. We don't want everyone all swimming in the same direction. We want people going, ooh, I think I want to do a thing. And the other person going, oh, I'll help you do that thing. You know, and like a bit of, a bit of difference so that we can change how things are because things aren't working as they are. So they're trying to push through this school's bill at the moment. Highly recommend you just put pen to paper and go around your neighbours and talk to them about it, get a little signature and send it off to your MP. It needs to be a wet signature with ink because it can't, it's not an online petition because this guy apparently is going for a slightly different tack. We really need to tell them, I mean, the government, government, look that up in the etymological dictionary. I think it's like govern your mentality. It's not like look after you. My own personal experience has shown me that the government didn't particularly want to look after me when I uh, started a small holding and put up a love shack to live on the land so that I could uh, provide local food for local people, zero miles to market, encourage community cohesion and have pesticide free foods and they came down on me like a ton of bricks. Um, so yeah, the government were not looking out for my best interests when I tried to help my community. Um, so what, what happens in school these days? Um, uh, for me, school is just a big indoctrination station. And that lovely book, School, No Place for Children by Paul Adelman, the people's lawyer, who's worth looking up. Um, he basically describes, he was a, a, a very bright, very academic, um, you know, shiny, sparkly, I'm in the system type. And he started to go around and teach the children how to play bridge. It was getting the kids talking to each other, working in pairs, working as teams, doing numbers, you know, um, collaborating. It was a great tool to kind of get them engaged. And he, he was finding even the ones who who were usually sitting on the edges, not wanting to get involved, were getting involved. And he had his funding pulled and he couldn't do it anymore. And he started looking into things and went, what's going on? Anyway, he's turned his back on um, the institutions of um, instruction. And um, now he's the people's lawyer looking at common law. It's very, very interesting. Hi, Katie. Hi, Alison. Um, so yeah, when my kids were going through the system, you know, they'd, they'd, be, they'd do cookery classes, right? And, and it would always be, I was doing gaps, of course, no grains, no vegetable oils, no sugar. And they'd come back from school and say, um, we were doing maths today and we used marshmallows with straws to make geometric designs. I was like, right, so they put marshmallows right under your nose, did they? Right, okay. And there was always sweets and cakes as treats, endlessly. And then when they did do cookery, what were they cooking? Pizza, macaroni cheese, muffins, all grain based. So, you know, um, that, that got right up my nose. I was like, this is not the kind of teaching I, I want. I don't, I don't want my children to learn about that. It's rubbish. <laughs> and then um, 
another thing that really got my goat was I went for a parents' evening. We came into the classroom. It was when Bibi was about eight. We came in and on the walls were images of medieval torture. Like cages with a woman in it. Gags. The stocks. You know, when you put your head and your, and your hands through the stocks. I was like, what do the children need to learn about this for? I just... Uh, it was beyond me. And yeah, one of the other the first things they learn when they go into primary school is about um, castellations. You know, um, these are castles. These are where the soldiers stand to shoot the arrows. Everyone wears armour because they have to be protected because we're always at war. Always. It's one of the first kind of things. It's an indoctrination station. The institution of school is not about growing beautiful minds that are curious and kind and um, inventive and looking for new solutions. It's a, it's a training ground to get all the fish swimming in the same direction. And there's currently a school's bill that they're trying to put through that will further this indoctrination agenda, right? By limiting the amount of home education that can go on. And we desperately need to keep hold of that. So get a pen to paper and just write your signature on it, send it to your MP and go, this school's bill business. Um, section three and four, I think, you're asking your MP to say no to, absolutely no. Um, there's a website, there's a Facebook page. I'll put the link underneath this um, live. I encourage you to go and get involved because we don't want to indoctrinate. This is why they're doing it. They're having to clamp down. They're like, bloody hell, since COVID, everyone's pulling their kids out of school. Yaha, good. You know, kids can learn an awful lot at home. They can learn to cook, they can learn to clean, they can learn to say, oh, we want to go on an adventure, oh, where do you want to go? Uh, they can look up where they want to go, they can research it, you know, then they can, we can say, how much is that going to cost, I think? And then they can work out how much the train costs, they can go and look at the train time, to start to learn to research online, you know. You can find out anything you like these days online, we don't really need schools. So please, people, put pen to paper and uh, make that happen. Um... What else did I want to say to you? Oh, you know, even if they had been making platonic solids with their marshmallows and straws, that would have been something interesting. Like, you know, did you learn how to make a tetrahedron? I don't know. <laughs> you know, they're not, they're not learning useful things. I'd like them to be learning mythology, symbology, numerology, gematria, um, astrotheology. How about syncretism? Wow. Let's dive deep and go into the mystery of life. Let's learn, actually, a little bit about the spellings, the real spellings. Go to my Facebook page if you want to see something about that. I just posted a thing with by Laurel Erika, who is a poet. She's beautiful and she decodes a lot of the spellings in her poetry. Really fascinating. Um, we need to learn the spellings and to decode the messages in the media, which are often linked to mythology and symbology and numerology. Um, and astrotheology, and when we can see the games the so-called controllers are playing, then we can decode the um, the dark magic that's being used against us. So I'm not saying we all start practicing occult stuff. I'm saying you learn about it so that you can see the spellings, so that you can go. Ah, actually, I'm going this way. I'm not going your way. I'm going. I'm going the other way. Okay, so people, there's a schools bill they're trying to push through. Please put pen to paper, write to your MP in the UK. I know, I know I've got a global audience here, but in the UK, write to your MP and say, the schools bill, please, um, you know, look into it. It's really, really important. I mean, <laughs> I'm thinking, God, do, what difference does it make if you sign a bit of paper? But I think this MP is kind of going a common law way, which David Adelman, who wrote School, No Place for Children, I mean, he maintains it's just, it's just basically a tool for giving everyone PTSD. And I tend to agree, actually, I tend to agree. So, um, darling hearts, I'm Emma Goodwin. I help people to use the food as the medicine to become masterminds of their lives so they can survive and thrive these troubled times. I use some other modalities as well, which I'm not at liberty to speak about on here because I get censored. So I'm um, very happy for you to please share this if you think this is important information and find me at timelesscookery.com and come and join my Timeless Cookery Club because in the club, like the Club of Rome, who are working every day to reduce the population and uh, cause untold problems, go and look them up, there's a very interesting series online called Cult of the Medics. I used to be a doctor on a medical drama called Medics and there's 
uh, but a great guy who's done this film series, short films, called Cult of the Medics. This goes back a really, really long way and it's really worth looking into. Uh, yeah, the medical system is, is not designed to keep us well. The food is the medicine. And I've got lots of tips and tricks. Hi Claire. Hi Hader. Oh, yeah, look, it's Zish. Uh, yeah, I've got lots of tips and tricks. What's he saying? You were a doctor. Yes, I was a doctor. I was a doctor on a medical drama for two for four years. Dr. Gail Benson, if you please. Clip clopping around, spouting rubbish like the drug regime is crucial, as is getting to outpatient sessions. You know, that kind of that was drug pushing inadvertently like a minion for the uh, pharmaceutical industry. <laughs> And I think a lot of the actual doctors who are working and nurses are inadvertently, unwittingly minions to the bigger agenda. And I, I know people's hearts are in the right place and they're trying to do the right thing. I don't doubt that for one minute. Um, but what people have got to realise is the system is stacked against us. So we need to, thank you for all the love hearts everybody, I really appreciate that. Uh, we need to uh, start shaking things up and so, and withdrawing our consent. David Adelman, the people's lawyer, talks a lot. And there's also another great place, another great thing called um, empowerthepeople.net. Empower the people. All about common law as opposed to admiralty law, where they've got us all swimming like fishes in schools. Right? We want, we want, we want the law of the land. We're men and women and boys and girls of flesh and blood. We're not... Um, these fictional corporate entities that it says on our birth certificates. We need to start standing up and saying, I withdraw my consent. I, so I, you know, your acts, laws and statutes actually uh, have no jurisdiction over me as they are for the governed. And if the governed don't give their consent, then the acts, laws and statutes hold no sway. But we have to have to stand our ground and say that, which can be scary if you're facing authority and you've been programmed to believe that someone in a uniform is actually there to tell you what to do. No, you're there to say what it is you want to do. So we don't want schooling. We want um, bright minds, alert minds, awake, awakened minds. And you need to have a strong body to have that. You need to have a strong body. So come and find me at timelesscookery.com and come and join Timeless Cookery Club. And I can help you decode the spellings and use the food as the medicine to switch yourself on, to get active, to start to create the beautiful world we all know is possible when uh, we, we switch off the programming or deprogram ourselves. There's an excellent, excellent book as well. Check out Kathy O'Brien. Uh, Transformation of America. Trans, T R A N C E. Transformation of America. She was a child trafficked White House model. She went through all that in the 70s, 60s, 70s, and then in the 80s she escaped and she was taught how to, she taught, was taught how to, to unprogram herself. And she's got a great book called PTSD time to heal I think it's called something like that but transformation of America please share this information if you get the chance because this is hugely impo important that we we're all we've all got PTSD because we all went to school unless you were lucky enough to be home educated um I know I have got PTSD I know I'm programmed you know I don't know anyone who isn't frankly we've all programmed to a degree so we've got to work on the PTSD, the post-traumatic stress disorder that we've all experienced, that we've all experienced, we've all been blooming, you know, zapped by the current, you know, the whole thing that's happened the last two years, you know, the Rona nonsense, that was a big, big kind of mind control game. And we've all got PTSD from that. I'm not saying people weren't in trouble health wise, but <laughs> there's lots of other reasons for being um, ill. Not I mean, that's a whole nother story. Anyway, darling hearts. Hello, I am. hi Andy, hi Laura. I'm glad to see this is getting through because I've been on a fast book ban for a little while and now I'm getting some more people, but please share this information. It's really important that we stick together and um, yes, yeah, spread the good news that things are actually gonna be okay if we just keep our wits about us and stick together. All right, darling hearts, see me at timelesscookery.com. Bye.